In this video, I want to show you uh, the basic sort of admin and setup elements of Smart Dialer. So if you've got Smart Dialer activated, you'll find Smart Dialer right over on the left side menu. Um, this icon here, if you click that, it brings you up with the main uh, Smart Dialer setting elements. So um, from top to bottom, first of all, there's the campaigns. Now we'll dive into campaigns in other videos, but the campaigns are obviously the critical sort of heart of Smart Dialer because it's the campaigns that you set up to enable your uh, different lists to be called, different, whether they're cold calling lists or follow up lists, whatever it is. Um, your campaigns are there and it's where your campaigns that your agents will log into so that they can go ahead and start calling. Um, monitoring, if you've got Smartphone Pro, is obviously allows you to watch all of the active uh, dialer sessions that are going on, listen in, whisper and barge to the calls. DNC numbers, uh, this is where you will, uh, where numbers have been DNC'd uh, on your list because, you know, the, the agents have clicked to DNC leads. The numbers will show up here and you can adjust them where necessary, obviously keeping within um, the legal requirements and within the what the customer wants, what your, uh, your contacts want. Um, you can also, of course, manually add a DNC number if there's a number where you know you need to DNC it because they've requested it somewhere else, uh, you can do that. Documentation is obviously a critical element and um, you can click here to open up our documentation element um, uh, our documentation um, section for smart dialer and of course finally we've got the uh, key kind of core setup elements of smart dialer and I'll just quickly talk a bit about what's involved here so um, w up, up here in this users uh, box here you will see the number of seats you have now smart dialer is charged on a per seat basis so um, the, this here says, shows that we have five actual seats available to us. Four of them are assigned. Now, just to clarify, you only need the number of seats for the amount of agents that will be dialing at the same time. So if you've got one agent dialing in the morning and one in the afternoon, they can swap. You could swap them in and out and only have one seat. It's really only where you've got a number of people who are dialing at the same time. And of course, to change around your users, you simply have to drag from a non-active state over on the left to an active state over on the right. You can also, of course, manage how many seats you have by simply clicking here and you can choose to add another seat or downgrade seats as well. Now, there are videos which we will link to um, in this help documentation that shows how subscriptions are managed so that where you add um, seats, how we deal with the pro rata elements. Back over to Smart Dialer um, and back over to the setup. Uh, you've got the app pack, which um, we, uh, we help you by installing uh, a set of app packs into your Podio system when you first set up um, the smart dialer element uh, on your system. They're just easy uh, apps that you can use to work with smart dialer. And finally, campaign permissions. So um, this, is a, this is an important one. Um, if you uh, have these campaign permissions on, then only admin users will be allowed to edit or, or adjust campaigns. You will not allow your normal users to do that. And that can be very important if you've got a series of people who are maybe dialing on your behalf, but they're really just dialers and you do not want them to have any administrative access, any ability to see or change and modify settings. So that's an overview of the sort of core setup of smartphone um, and the different elements that are involved uh, in the different menus in Smart Dialer.